hello guys welcome back to my channel it's your boy allergy so in this video i will show you how to manage wp wordpress school system in local host so before showing you how to install it the plugin in local host let me show you let me show you the demo first before you before we are gonna start to install the uh, the plugin into our local host okay so here is the dashboard of the school management system in wordpress you see the dashboard so here you get teacher student parent class attendance event notify transport and setting and classes here you get a sub classes here subject maths exam and timetable so i will show you how to insert each and everything step by step in the demo then in the next video i will show you how to install the this uh, the plugin in local host step by step so let's get started so first is let's start with the teachers first so let's let's create a new teacher Okay, here, here I have only one teacher here, so I will create, I'll create a new teacher again. Because, you know, you see I'm using a free button, so I'm not able to print and import, export things, okay? So let's create a, a new teacher. If you want, you can use the Pro version to able to have the full system. So here is the teacher. I'm going to type the name skip okay so with my date of birth I will choose any anyone here okay choose any like this I choose this one this date okay and the image I will leave it like that the, 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 my blood group I say a plus pin number I choose this one my, my qualification I can say BSC and then my address, I can say Sakisunda Sakiji. This is my city name, I can say Sakisunda. The country, say Gambia. Pin code, I can say IOC 220 for that. And let's go to the account information. This is my account information. So I can say, uh, I can use GS United com can say username I can say uh, and my password I can use password okay I confirm password like this and go to next my password doesn't match so just confirm the password password doesn't match do this till now okay Now, now the password match successfully so our data is saving to see to go to the next site here okay so you see now we have our our teacher in, in our system but the teacher doesn't have any class in charge and any subject handling okay so let's add a new student as well that's how it works you know it's very clear forward and simple so we have only one student here so let's create a new student that's the, this is the student form you can able to create okay the student form is here we have I'm, I'm a male so i will just use my name okay like allergy allergy signature okay get a word and other stuff like this image i will leave it like that with the group group is this optional then full number okay like this so my address i can say that's the finger 
CP is optional, all these things are optional. I will leave all. Then I say above, yeah, all this optional. And these ones are optional. Okay. The parent also is optional for now. And the account information. And I can use my email. You can say my username i can say allah okay allah must be something i say like i can say allah then the password i can give my password allah allah okay save it oh roll number you see we have roll number so i need to add here a new roll number i will say zero zero one one Submit. Okay, he giving okay, giving me the name already exists. So let's change. Let's just make it like two. Submit. Hmm. Email address also exists. So I can give it like one. Submit. Now, now it will save successfully. I have to. Okay. Now we have our students saved successfully. Now let's create our classes and let's assign our student to the class and assign everything. You know, this is my student. See, my student is here. Okay. So let's create a class. This is how you create a class in this this here. Just click it and come down here. Okay. Now you see we have one class and one teacher with the class. Uh, okay, and one one student as well. So let's create a class, a new class. We are creating a class, so a class name. I giving this is class two. Teacher, teacher allergy. Class, the class number. Let's say C two. Okay, the class capacity. I say forty five. And the start date. I can give this thing. The, the class starting on on today and end on this date. And here is the location, floor one, the class fee type. Okay, submit. That's how you create a class in here. Okay, the class details are here. So, you see, we, now we have a class created successfully, and we have zero student in the class. So now let's assign a student in a class okay so just go to go back to a, to a student here and here is a student now this one is a student okay so i want to use this student and assign a class to a Assign the student to, to a class so that the student will have a class. So let's go back. Okay. See country. See class now. I will choose a class. Class two. Roll number is this. I will make it like this. Okay. Update. So now if we, we come to our classes and I will able to see one student inside that class too. Okay, then classes come here. So you see we have one student inside this class. Okay, so let's make a subject, how to make a subject in this application just click the, the subject button here and
and then let's assign a subject to a, a teacher just create a new subject here Here is subject just you can you can create a class and just give it like English code when I say NG the teacher gonna give it to allergy goodness in basic English three and here I can say maths okay NG okay like teacher allergy then submit we just have only three for this school uh, for this class and we see the class two we have these courses here this is the class two that has all these things so now let's let's try to create a uh, exam for the class first no let's create a timetable first for the class let's create a timetable for the class two okay the class that we are creating right now so i select class two and i say to create timetable then i select class two i use this template Class one template script. Okay, I think I get okay. You see, we have English, math, and science. That is the subject that we created for this class too. You see, so now Monday to Sunday, the times are here. So I choose this thing to Monday English. Just drag it and drop it inside here, and we say this one also. Max on Monday we have only two classes. On Tuesday we have one classes. Okay, and on Thursday we have two classes. I can choose these two classes, and that's all. Is saving so what we need next is something like that so let's just wait until this thing to, to proceed from proceeding we can able to see how the test will look like okay Buddha. we have soon soon very soon so that's the timetable is loading saved successfully so i can click the timetable here and i will able to see the timetable of the class 2 so if i select class 2 now it's loading i will see the timetable of class 2 here you see the timetable of class 2 this is the timetable of class 2 here see Monday we have two classes Tuesday one classes Thursday we have one classes so I can able to print it but I'm not using the uh, the full version of the application so I can able to print it here if you want you can able to use the full version from the application just try to use the uh, the plugin features so that we can able to use all the, the features that this this a uh, application came up, came with okay so till now let's go to let's go to the examination so let, let's create an exam for class two ok 
create an example class too. You can you select class two here, exam name. I can say the test time exam. Test time start from start from today and ends on Friday. English I select all then because I will use all because we have English to stay at so this one is successfully created and you can able after after the exam you can able to mark the exam sheets as well so come here mark sheets are here you can able to choose the class class two okay it's coming Test time examination and here the subjects are coming fine. So I can select English for now and add mark. Then if I add mark, then you're gonna see just the English. So I can add mark. I can say this we have only one student here. This first student has only 80 for English. Very good. Mark. <laughs> so it's already marked. So that's how you make it. So I will just I will show you the front end of the code. Then I will. You see we have 80. Very good here for the student in English. Okay. So and I will come. This is our front page of the school management system in the WordPress. Okay, so now I will stop the video from here. Then in the next video, I will show you how to install this WordPress plugin into localhost step by step and how to install WordPress in localhost step by step. Okay, so stay tuned. If you don't subscribe to my channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for more videos. Thank you. See you. Allah bless you.